Okay, now we're on to the main attraction of the night, the entree. And uh, for the entree tonight, again, the theme of this whole thing is, is elegant but simple. But we all can make this. Now, uh, we're going to do a filet mignon. I got about a two pound piece here. That's good for four to six people. Uh, I'm going to do a potato leonese and a simple sauteed spinach with garlic and olive oil. Potatoes leonese. Now, I have a crock here. Um, I'm only going to show you how to make it in like an individual. There's probably be enough for two. Uh, if you have a little baking dish at home, um, uh, you'll see what I mean. You can put these, peel four potatoes. Let's say we're having the dinner party for four people. So we have four Idaho potatoes and we simply cut the one side like that so it, it secures the bottom and now we're going to square off the whole potato. This is a really cool potato. Something a little bit different. People look. Now this potato is not cooked so it's still in its raw stage but it's squared off potato. Then I cut it in about a, what is that, about an eighth of an inch slices there. It's up to you. Don't make it too thick so we have to cook these raw. Okay. Place it in the casserole dish. I'm going to square off one more potato real quick. Okay. Still have little scraps of potato. You can make some mashed potatoes with those. All right. Now, add these on there. Go the other way, those. So we have the potatoes all cut, uniformed, but there's a raw potato. Now, this is the fun part of this dish. I have some onions that I've already cleaned and, and caramelized, sauteed a little bit and a little bit of butter or olive oil. They're all ready to go. And these get placed on top of these potatoes. So we have the potatoes, the onions on top. Don't forget we need a little bit of salt and pepper, especially with potatoes. And again, I have a little uh, beef consomme that we make here, a little veal stock. And that gets poured almost halfway up the dish because these potatoes are actually going to bake and steam. We're going to put them in the oven probably for about a half hour. Finally, I put a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese on top. Now that's going to make a little gratin on top. So when these potatoes come out, there's going to be a nice Parmesan onion crust. The potatoes should be nice and tender and and have that also that, that beef flavor because we're having it with the filet. So it's a great combination. Then we're going to place that in the oven for about half hour, maybe 40 minutes. Okay, we're going to start out with, we got this nice, beautiful center cut filet mignon. Really, again, how many people, it depends on how many people, if it's six to eight people, you're going to need a little bit more meat, your butcher will tell you. So we're going to prepare it very simply. I have some herbs that I mixed up with some garlic powder, granulated garlic, some black pepper, lemon pepper, almost like a Montreal steak seasoning, but uh, I make my own. Uh, coat the meat, don't be shy. I, that's really, and then I use some of the uh, kosher salt that I have. I have a hot pan, just a touch of olive oil. Let that get a little smoky. Again, you can see how much seasoning I put on it. You want to put on a lot because a lot's going to stay in the pan. That's the reasoning why. And meat, especially a filet, needs to be seasoned well. Okay, so just be careful when you put it in. You could start this way. Always put the meat in going back so the oil doesn't come this way and uh, burn you. Okay, and we're going to let this meat sear off. A couple minutes on each side, it will caramelize. Uh, then we're going to uh, put it to the side. And again, the one thing I didn't mention, uh, any meat that you cook, you want to take it out of the refrigerator an hour or so before it, it cooks the, its best at room temperature. Same as after you take it out of the oven, you want to leave the meat to rest for 10, 15 minutes. Depends on what kind of meat you have. Uh, so all the juices equally distribute. They come back out. That's why sometimes you open up, you cut into a piece of meat, the outside is well done, the inside's rare. If you let it, if you had let the meat rest, 
it would have all the juices would expand back out so you have an evenly beautifully rare medium rare whichever way you like uh, your meat cooked okay so as you can see we're we're searing this off just give it a little flip on its side you want to get like all sides and see we're starting to caramelize the meat with the spices that we put on it two minutes on each side it really depends on how hot your pan is get your pan hot before you put this in also okay we're gonna flip it over seared off all sides now this two pound piece of filet again for home cooks it's really hard for a professional chef to tell exactly how long to cook meat because we have much hotter ovens or we cook it at different temperatures and we kind of know by touch so really the best thing to do is have a thermometer and know what temperatures uh, your meats and chickens should be cooked at uh, you know there's, there's plenty of information on what the exact temperature but generally uh, a piece of meat uh, if you cook it to about 125 thermometer take it out it's going to come up to about 130 that's a beautiful medium rare piece of meat right there okay so we're done with that put the meat on the side we're going to put it in an oven to 350 and again um, time wise I'm going to say 15 to 20 minutes okay now this is the best part this is a simple sauce that we're going to make real quick see all these caramelization and everything from the meat here this is good stuff okay so what we're going to do is we're going to deglaze it with um, a little bit of red wine and a uh, little bit of beef consomme that I have we make our own veal stock here I think I've done that before on the website so you what they call deglazing the pan okay see how thick it gets for this because you got a still a nice hot pan gonna let that sauce come down a little bit so we were going to deglaze this uh, pan uh, a little red wine and a little beef stock the best to put the red wine in first remove the pan from the heat just add a little bit of red wine and then your beef stock we did it in a different sequence here but it really won't matter now we're letting the, the sauce reduce you can see it's getting nice and thick I add just a little teaspoon of a Dijon mustard just a little bit dab will do you mix that in there let it cook a little more okay add a touch of cream that just mellows the sauce out a little bit okay now you can see where it changes the color a little bit the consistency now we can set that sauce to the side you can strain that if you like it's certainly fine like that if you want to make it a really clean pure sauce strain it right into a chinois like that the flavor is coming from the seared meat that's what you're getting from that sauce there and then you've added a couple little Dijon mustard and uh, uh, a little bit of cream and that's it okay so now we have our filet mignon I'm gonna put this in the oven right now 